So uh, I uh, suspect that we have the instruction not to try to delay uh, at the end of, uh, of our meeting. So I take it that we try to terminate this uh, exchange of views around uh, 7.30, something like that, if uh, it is agreeable. We will see how it works. But, uh, and I am also extremely happy that uh, you have accepted to be the rapporteur. <laughs> so, so we all count on you. Because uh, the experience demonstrates that uh, our exchange of views uh, are always uh, extremely diverse, and uh, they are covering a lot of terrain, and, and uh, it's very multidimensional. So, for those who have already participated in this uh, in this seminar, I should not introduce the speakers, but they are those who had not participated in such a seminar. And uh, I thank uh, very, very much uh, all the, those who have accepted to speak and have accepted also our rule of the game, which would be to speak uh, in concentrating the messages in five minutes in order to multiply the exchange of views, the questions, and the dialogue, and uh, why not the quarrels from time to time. Uh, let me uh, just say a word on uh, precisely those who will intervene. Mazoud Ahmed, in my left, is president of the Center for Global Development, and uh, he has been extremely influential in the Bretton Woods Institution, IMF, and World Bank, and IMF. Uh, I would say that uh, I see Mazoud as you do in all intellectual and economic colloquium, and uh, Thank you so much, Mazout, for having accepted to be, to be here. Bertrand, in my right, will, will be the second speaker, uh, associate gérant and founder and, uh, and uh, uh, I would say, leader of Blue Like and Orange Sustainable Capital. He was very instrumental as uh, general director and financial director of the World Bank Group. Then we have... Uh, Akinari Huri, we know him also extremely well, special advisor and member of the board of the Canon Institute for Global Studies, also member, I mentioned that en passant, of the Trilateral Commission. Yes. Thank you very much, Thank you. Akinori, for uh, being uh, with us. Pierre Jacquet is a uh, professor of economy at the uh, National School of uh, Bridges, um, <laughs> Shall I say that? Ponts et chaussées? Uh, <laughs> oui, oui, oui. Very famous Ponts et chaussées. <laughs> Is, and he was also president during 10 years of the Global Development Network. So, uh, thank you very much, Pierre, for being with us. André Lévy-Lang, again, I'm mentioning the speakers in the order of the speeches. Uh, André, you are a founder and uh, uh, very instrumental, I have to say, of the Institut Louis Bachelier. Without you, there would be no uh, Institut Louis Bachelier. And uh, uh, Bachelier, you, you know, of course, is a, a very powerful uh, French mathematician who had the first idea of introducing math in the stock exchanges, and, uh, and uh, he uh, was uh, rediscovered late in the previous century, but appeared to be the real, real, I would say, uh, uh, intellectual that uh, more or less uh, paved the way for all the financial mathematics. Uh, <coughs> and you were uh, CEO of uh, Paribas Bank. Uh, which, uh, of course, uh, every, everybody knows. Uh, John Lipsky is uh, also uh, present everywhere in the world, I have to say. From time to time, I'm thinking uh, he has le don d'ubiquité, as we say in French, so the capacity to be in all places at the same moment. So when you don't see him in Shanghai, it is because he's been in Beijing. And when you trust that you see him here, he's also uh, together. I don't know where, uh, John, uh, Washington. Uh, I mean, you're, you're amazing. So thank you very much for having accepted. I mentioned en passant, 
that you were first deputy uh, MD of the IMF and acting MD of the IMF. And Jean-Claude Meyer, uh, vice chairman, International Rothschild and Company, but also previous uh, MD of uh, Lazar. Uh, no, it's not exactly that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, and uh, you are blessing us with uh, your remarks on the financial markets uh, uh, often, obviously here. So I don't want to take uh, too much. Of <laughs> it would be very bad for me to take too much of your time because uh, you uh, have to stick to the five minutes. Uh, I would only say that uh, as regards uh, what you have to say, you are the masters. And uh, I count on you to ship, to, to, to mention, and float three, four messages that would be very strong and would permit to start, really, the discussion. I was listing myself what we could say, and I saw 12 issues that are of great interest. And I, I don't want to list them, because I don't want to uh, <coughs> take, again, too much of our time. But uh, I see. Uh, of course, in the economy in general, a lot of things to be said. On uh, risks, global financial risks, I see uh, that we are in an inflection point, it seems to me, in many, many respects. And uh, not only inflation, not only, uh, uh, I would say, climate change, uh, but that it is really, frankly uh, speaking, very, very uh, dramatic as far as the change is concerned. I see some positives. I, noted five, four, five positives. Maybe we could uh, introduce the positive because I suspect that uh, the negatives would probably dominate. Uh, and I could uh, list seven negatives. Uh, and I take it that uh, they have to be taken very, very seriously because uh, experience has demonstrated that we should be uh, as resilient as possible and ready and stand ready for any kind of uh, unexpected uh, new events, uh, and uh, we have, during the last period of time, a lot of events that were absolutely dramatic and were totally unexpected. Generally, they came at a moment when everybody is very quiet and calm, and we, we say we have solved all problems, and uh, now uh, it is the very calm and quiet waters. Nobody says that today, which is a little bit reassuring, so we are all supposed to prepare for uh, these unexpected uh, events that can come at any time. I, I don't think personally that the, the system, the global financial system, is really stable at the present moment. And not only because we have, of course, at the horizon all the uh, so-called geostrategic risks that we are mentioning in the conference, and of course have a f fantastic impact on uh, global finance. All that